Hello chemists and welcome to this episode of Bale's Chemistry. Today we're going to answer the question, what is a complex ion? It's in 2.5 of the AQA A-level specification, that's on transition metals. If you haven't already seen our transition metals introduction, go back and watch the video now. There's a link at the top of the screen. And this topic is all on paper one of your final exams. So when we talk about a complex, what do we actually mean? Well, a complex is a metal ion surrounded by accordingly bonded atoms or groups. And we call these atoms or groups ligands. Looking at this complex in a bit more detail then, we have a metal ion in the middle. This is a transition metal and this is where all the ligands coordinately bond to. We have the ligands around the outside and this ligand at the top here is a chlorine ligand and we have four ammonia ligands also bonded in this complex. And then we have a coordinate bond. This joins the ligand through to the metal ion. So you can see here we've drawn out this octahedral complex and we've used arrows to show that the pair of electrons is being donated from the ligand to the metal ion. And then what we're going to need to do is add some brackets to this to show that the complex has an overall charge. Now it is possible to draw complexes slightly different and you might see different pictures on the internet. But the most important thing about this method is you've got the right number of ligands, the right shape and the brackets around the outside. So when it comes to the formula for a complex then, we always put all the atoms inside square brackets. This shows us where it starts and ends. The first atom we put in there then is the metal ion, followed by the ligand. Now the ligands, if they've got multiple atoms in them, so they're like water or ammonia, we put them inside the brackets. After the brackets, we put the number of ligands that are present, and then to finish it off, we just have the overall charge outside the square brackets. We'll now look at the formula for two different complexes and break down what's inside them. We'll start with this copper complex. We can see that it's got a metal ion of copper, it's got six ligands, those ligands are water, and it's got an overall charge of two plus. For the second example, we'll look at a cobalt complex. The metal ion now is cobalt. It has still has six ligands. It's got two chlorine ligands and four ammonia ligands. And it's got an overall charge of one plus. When it comes to learning about ligands, there are three categories of ligands we need to know. They're categorized by their dentate or their number of coordinate bonds that they form. Dentate is used as it's an old word that sort of means like bite. So it's the idea that the ligand is biting into the metal ion. In the first category, we're going to look at monodentate. So these ligands form one coordinate bond. We'll start with ammonia. Ammonia has one lone pair and can form one coordinate bond to the metal ion. Chloride ions also have one lone pair and can form one coordinate bond to the metal ion. And water, water has two lone pairs, but still only forms one coordinate bond to that metal ion. The second category of ligand that we look at then is a bidentate ligand. These form two coordinate bonds with a central metal ion. And the first one we're going to look at is ethane 1,2-diamine. Now these use amine groups at the end with the lone pair of the nitrogens to form the coordinate bond to the central metal ion. And the second one we're going to look at is an ethane dioate. Now in this case, there's the lone pair on the oxygens which form the coordinate bonds to the metal ion. We're going to look at these in action in a later episode. And the final category of ligand is a multidentate. These form more than two coordinate bonds with the metal central ion. And the only example that you need to know is EDTA. Now you don't need to know the actual structure of EDTA, but you do need to know that EDTA binds to the metal ion through the lone pairs on the nitrogens and the oxygens. And I've circled those in red here to make it easy for you to see. That's all for this episode. Don't forget to check out all our other transition metal videos in this playlist. And if you enjoyed the video today, please hit the thumbs up.